so I've decided to do the uh, survey questions now because I was um, tagged to complete these survey questions by Tetsubo57. Uh, I believe the survey was started by uh, Nerimon. Uh, so I've got the questions on the screen now. Uh, question one is what is your biggest fear? And um, I, I, I don't really want to answer that. Uh, in a manner because I don't like telling people uh, things that I'm afraid of because what I find is then then people have things that they can use against you and <laughs> that doesn't work out well um, so I'm not going to say what my biggest fears are but I will say that uh, I don't like uh, really unpredictable situations like if the phone started ringing now I'd be like oh I've got this conversation with someone and I've no idea what it's going to be about and I'm going to have to come up with answers on the spot and it's going to be all unpredictable and horrible um, yeah so that would that that's something I don't like uh, so I guess that's a fear uh, the second question is how did you find out that Santa wasn't real and um, I can't remember a time of which I believed in Santa because uh, we're not religious so we don't have religious traditions um, we do uh, at Christmas I get presents and uh, we were told they're from Santa I guess but um, I never really uh, I can't remember a time of which I believed that that was actually true. Um, I think I always knew that my parents gave me those gifts. Maybe it's because I have older siblings as well, so uh, all of my siblings are older than me. So it's... they knew, obviously, so maybe there just wasn't a time of which it was kept from me or something. I don't know. Um, so I just always knew uh, that they were from my presents, uh, from, from my parents. Um, they just for some reason called Santa gifts, I guess. Uh, it's kind of funny actually because w one year I do remember. Uh, Gifts from Santa, Santa, uh, they they're always just left outside our bedroom doors. Uh, so on Christmas morning, you wake up, you open the bedroom door, and there's your presents, and then you go to your mum and dad's room, and say thank you. So <laughs> it's one of the clues that Santa didn't do it, obviously. Um, but I do remember one year that there wasn't any presents outside my door, and I thought, oh no, I, I must have been bad or something. I don't know. And then they were just in mum and dad's room because they just hadn't bothered putting them out. Uh, anyway, I'll move on. Uh, the third question is, what's the best idea you've ever had? But I can't really think of an answer. I can't really think of any specific brilliant idea I've had. Um... Uh, the fourth question is, what's the most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done? And, uh, I can't really think of anything embarrassing that they've done, actually. Uh, I saw Heather's video in which uh, she answered these same questions, and she said that uh, one of her parents would uh, drive some sort of car that uh, she found embarrassing when she was dropped off at school or something. Um, and I, I remember my mum had some sort of uh, Volkswagen camper van type thing and whenever she dropped us at school my sister would make her or ask her to drop us two streets away or something because my sister found it embarrassing. But I didn't really find it embarrassing myself. Um, I think that that's just your parents having their own uh, likes and things and that's just 
if they like cars that are different, then they like cars that are different. That doesn't bother me. Um, so that's not embarrassing as such to me. But I, th I do remember something embarrassing that happened, and I don't even know if it's, it's if it really happened because it's so long ago now that it, I don't know. I know I was young, but from memory, I have this memory that I started school and then I stole something like two pounds or something from my mum from like her purse but then my parents uh, saw that I had money, uh, these coins and they knew that I, I shouldn't have money because I didn't get any pocket money or anything so there was no way of me actually having money um, and so they thought I would stole it from like a different student or something so they took me the, into school uh, and asked like the head teacher or something if I had been stealing and that was embarrassing but I don't know if that really happened or not because I, that I must have been five if that ever really happened or something like that. So it's ages ago. It could be a made-up memory, but the idea of sitting in front of the head teacher and everyone thinking I was stealing is embarrassing. The fifth question, which happens to be the last question, is if you're only allowed to pick one career for the rest of your life, what would it be? And that just sounds really terrible. I just want to be happy. 